All right, we got uh, we got a dragon out on the field. Met met you with a destroyer golem. Wow! And they they killed each other. Nice. Yeah. So if you look old strategy. Yeah, they're, 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 they've got some crazy stuff going on right now. Uh, there's, uh, I don't think any of their decks have very many spells or traps, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> oh man, these cards, they remind me of my first Yu-Gi-Oh deck I ever got. I know, they, these are all from like the, the very first season, you know, so... Uh, Kojo Kaki, I think I had one of those. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I think I might have had a Destroyer Golem as well. And, yeah, just, just lots of fun. Ooh, already playing defensively. This is a good uh, sign. Yeah, it looks like Ryan's on the ropes a little bit. Or wait, no, not Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Ryan is playing. <laughs> Who's purple? <laughs> Who's orange? Who knows? Oh, man, this is great. Uh, let's see. Here, do you want to check out the live stream to see if it's working? Uh, oh, man. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Now I just recorded my own voice over my voice. That's great. That's great. Uh, hmm. So, yeah. Th this is the first season, so... Uh, oh. It's gonna, ooh, yeah. Curse of Dragon. Now, this is going to be very uh, iffy. He's, I don't know if he's going to be able to get past this card. The only way I think he can beat this combo here is if he... Plays... Uh, hang on. You, do you still have to tribute monsters to summon, like, five stars and stuff? No, not not in the uh, Duelist Kingdom. Not in Duelist Kingdom. Oh! Yeah, I know. Oh. He's probably going to tell him that, that you should put it in defense mode. That I didn't really get that across too much, but... Well, whatever. He'll learn the hard way. Learning the hard way. Yeah, this is Kyle's first game, so... By being humiliated in a children's card game. <laughs> There's nothing more humiliating. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the owner of a billion-dollar company, but I lost in a children's card game. So it must... It's terrible. It's terrible. I must I must hire a bunch of thugs. Oh, oh yeah, let's see. Stone Armadillo. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, like, the, in later in the seasons, you know, Joey kind of gets, like, a thing going. He's got, like, warriors and, like, like uh, gambling mechanics and stuff and, and beast warriors and his red eyes. Black yeah, I think... Guy. But in like, the start... Yeah, yeah. In the start, he was just, like, all warriors. And then he only came, became, like, a gambler type around Duelist City, I think. Yeah, yeah. He had the one card. Time roulette, go! Ah, oh, yeah, there was that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man. The the one thing about these ga these oh, interesting, interesting ploy. Hmm. That is that is an interesting choice. Hmm. hmm. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, interesting. Now, what is he gonna do? That that what an interesting play. He's trying to bait him into attack mode. I bet to do some more damage. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Huh? Is he gonna take the bait? You see it? They both have dragons in face-up defense mode. They're trying to tell us something here. <laughs> the, the cards are trying to tell me something. I can see they're speaking, spelling out letters. My goodness. <laughs> What do, what, do they they spell? Wait, quick. <laughs> what do they spell? Oh, they spell? Uh, attack mode. Interesting. No. No. No, no Tiger X. Yeah. One of his looks, best parts. Looks That's... a lot stronger than 1300 attack. But... <laughs> I know. Uh, it's just because his axe is too tiny, man. His axe is too mm. tiny for his hands. The appearance of monsters can never tell you their attack points. Well, unless it's like Mushroom Man, who's just a mushroom with arms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, there are exceptions. Yeah. Or Watt Kid or whatever, you know. There's always exceptions. Oh man. I feel so bad. What this 
the problem is no direct attacks, right? So the, the yeah. games are just going to end with mostly decking out in these in this case. Huh. Yeah, it just I don't, I don't see him being able to win. Now he does have the swamp battle guard and lava battle guard combo. So he could have um won this won this game. Because as soon as he gets a Swamp Battle Guard plus Lava Battle Guard, then he has the highest attack in the entire game. Because I think uh, Curse of Dragon is Joey's best card in Season Zero. Yeah. Really? I thought that was one of Yugi's cards. It is, but Joey uses it in Season Zero, so it's super weird. Okay. I think he used it in one duel. And hmm. so it is in his deck. Oh, seeing some uh, attack mode here. Oh, yes. That's why I like it. Uh -huh. Oh, that tingle when a monster gets sent to the graveyard. Oh. I know. It's great, especially when it's a rock or grotto. <laughs> Ogre grotto, number one. Man. Oh, but he's going to pay for that. Oof. Oof. Yeah. 500 US life points. <laughs> Direct Strange rate's low right now, so oh, that's man. not good. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Look at this. He lost his M Warrior number one. It's terrible. Oh, man. Yeah, so they, they really don't have a lot of a lot of cards right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he's going for M Warrior number one. Why not? Why no. not? What a risky this is his twin brother. Yeah. Kid brother of M Warrior number two. M Warrior number two actually has lower attack than M Warrior number one. It's pretty. Aren't pretty there attack and defense like switched? Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what what a what a what a great great idea for a vanilla monster. Specializing in combinationist attacks, this warrior uses magnetism to block an enemy's escape. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a warrior type, of course. Is he Magneto? I know. He's he has a helmet, man. Well, I mean, that pretty much sells it for me. Yeah, exactly. He is the Magneto. He's the master of magnets. Hmm. What do we got? Ooh, a Watt kid. Oh, Watt kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. So literally, Tristan, I. His only cards are uh, Blackland Fire Dragon and uh, uh, Lava Battle Guard. Those are the only ones that he actually was said to have up until he gets like sucked into the video game in that filler arc. And then he actually plays a game with Duke Devlin. You remember that? Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> this game... Oh, this is dry. Oh yes, but this is dual monsters. This is how it was back in the day, man. Just people playing cards until they can't. Nothing wrong with dry, man. That's how I take my martinis, right? Yeah, exactly. Ooh, mm, there's not. Yeah, there's j definitely not a lot of crunch. Definitely not a, cr a lot of crunch of this. Baby, come here. Uh, come on. Uh, come I'll, I'll tell him to. Uh, come on. Oh no! Oh, we can't. We probably Corey can't. K. I'll I'll tell him you next time to use uh, the in-game chat, uh, so people can see it on stream. That'll be good. Oh yeah, another. This is another one of Yugi's cards. Believe it or not. Did you know that it was one of Yugi's cards? <laughs> Which one? Uh, Tori K. What? Yeah, he, he it's notorious for being attacked and destroyed by Weevil's basic insect in Duelist Kingdom. Yeah, I don't huh. think he ever names it, but he, it's just one of the random monsters he like throws in defense position and gets destroyed. So ah uh, yeah, yeah I remember reading the manga and there were like some uh, nameless monsters that were just there for cannon fodder basically. Yeah, so. And, and it gets a proud spot in Tristan's deck just because I was like, okay, uh, he has dragons, he has beast warriors. Okay, I'm going to put warriors, beasts, and dragons in his deck and just oh. fill it up. There's that black land fire dragon. Yep. 
Oh, it's a good card. Ooh, this is this is what Duel Monsters is all about: decking out your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just goes to show you that anime decks are not meant to be played. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is this is the most juiciest thing ever. Did you did, did you put in a deck for Taya? I do have a deck for Taya because she fights my, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah, so friendship you, monsters. Oh, I know it's gonna be so juicy. <laughs> oh man. Unfortunately, she doesn't. I don't think she ever plays ever in season zero. Random purple hair girl. I can't freaking remember her name. Uh, do you know who I'm talking about? The 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 one who shall not be named. The, the the girl who was the date person for Tristan and just like disappeared after season zero. I I, I know what she looks like. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have no no idea what her name is. But like basically her whole her whole thing, uh, she she's just like sucks at the game, and they they ha constantly have like every time they're like here I'll explain the rules of dual monsters to you, and so they can explain the rules of dual monsters in the episode. Yeah, I, I watched a few episodes of season zero again to get caught up with the lore so i'll be able to talk yeah literally in the, in the show this this is just one one turn uh oh it's a surrender oh all right oh all right good games good